<laughs> Welcome back, BFIT Nation. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everyone had a safe and wonderful new year. <clears throat> With new year comes a great opportunity to spark a sh and strengthen a new you. So this is BFIT Live, your at-home personal live workout joined by myself, Roy Montes, and my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Roy. I'm doing good. Excited to be here with you in the new year, getting some workout in, so it's good stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. It's so great to have you with me and with us once again this year. I know last year we were built on a lot of strength and a lot of cardio-based workouts, so this year we're looking to do the same just strengthening ourselves. A new year, again, calls for new goals, stronger goals, and a, a better sense of building a stronger version of ourselves week by week, day by day. So this is where we are. Welcome to BFIT Live. We are uh, hosting a programmed workout for you today. It is more of a cardio-based workout. So our programming for today is 40 seconds of work. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off four rounds and in those four rounds we will tackle four exercises <clears throat> to round out our full body workout so a full body whether you're at home like senior master sergeant sonia berry or myself at uh outside but still at home you're able to accomplish any of these moves within a small a relatively small space so um today i thought we'd tackle more of a body uh weight workout so no equipment is needed Full effort is required, but no yeah. equipment, no, no equipment is needed for today. So I have uh, some dumbbells out. We will tackle them um, and add them as we go through our BFIT lives for the year. But again, no equipment. Um, grab towels, grab water. Uh, make sure you're dressed comfortable. Breathable clothing is, is, is preferred. That way, whenever you perspire, you're able to breathe and let your body breathe. So with that, we will, I will run through our four exercises for today. I'll demo them. We will jump into some dynamic stretching to get our mind and our bodies ready to work. And then we will go into our workout for the day. So <clears throat> up first, I'll run through our first four exercises and then I'll demo. Our first is going to be a ski to a lunge or a hop. So uh, feel free to modify these uh, up to your comfort level and up to your uh, fitness level as well. Our second exercise is gonna be a push-up variation. Our third exercise is going to be a low squat to reverse lunge. So a low squat holds reverse lunge. And our fourth exercise is going to be mountain climbers. Again, the uh, idea for today is to get our heart rate elevated and more of a high intensity based workout. So those ski to lunges or hops up first, we are gonna to start to the left of, or to the right of our space here, whichever space we're working with. We are going to drive off of that outside leg and foot, drive over to the space that you have available to you. And you can either go into that foot that you land, that you transferred off to, into a hop, or we can drop down into a lunge, back up on two feet, and then we are lateral bounding back over and then down into an alternating leg lunge. And we're back over into the skis. If that is a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit uh, too scaled up, we can go ahead and ski over and just throw in a hop or just compose yourself and lateral bound over to your comfort level. Again, this is to your comfort level. If you need to modify anything or if we need to modify, if you have any questions, let us know, drop us a note in the comments and we can tackle that as the workout goes on, or we can tackle that after the program. And I will make sure to notate any modifications that we can take care of during the workout for you. Our second exercise is a push-up variation. So we are gonna get down on the floor here. We are dropping down into our high plank position. We have a push-up, and then we are gonna open up to that big T. Okay, push up and then a big T on the right side. Now the scaled down version would be to drop to our knees here and just go push up. And it's a little more difficult to open up with that T. 
So just go ahead and scale down to that push up here. And that's where your scaled down version is going to be at. All right, exercise number three. <clears throat> We're working a lot of lower leg action here with number three, okay? We are going into an isometric hold here with that low squat position. So we wanna dial in a little bit of a half squat here. And then we are just going to reverse lunge, left leg back to center, back to start, and then right leg back. So you wanna keep that chest up nice and proud here. The lower you are, the more resistance you're gonna have. So if this is your standing position, drop down to your comfort level here and just work on tapping that toe back behind you, okay? That's gonna be your low squat hold to reverse lunge. And your fourth and final exercise to round out our first exercise for the new year are mountain climbers. So we're back into that high plank position. All right, hands underneath our shoulders here, left hand, right hand, underneath our shoulders for support. You wanna have that most, the most support here. And you wanna drive your left, your right knee to your left arm or right knee, right leg, <laughs> left leg, left knee to left arm, okay? Or chest. So we are gonna have <clears throat> our knees driving to our chest, keeping our back flat, our hips down, as well as notate your hips to be square to the floor here. So you don't want any type of large swaying here, keep them squared to the floor, driving those feet and knees forward. Again, those are the four exercises for today. And that's four rounds at 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. All right, go ahead and towel off, grab your water, settle in. Let us know where you're watching from. It's always nice to see so many people watching from around the world. So <clears throat> Sergeant Barry and I, I know we like to enjoy seeing where everyone's from. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Let us know how you're starting your new year. Any goals, any major goals that you have written down that you have set for this week, this month, this year? What are your goals? Let us know, drop them in the comments below. If we can help out in any way with any of your fitness or health and wellness goals, we certainly will, okay? All right. <clears throat> now that we're settled in, grab some water. We're gonna jump into some dynamic stretching and then into our workout. <clears throat> Okay, dynamic stretching up first. Before every workout, we like to warm our bodies up, warm our minds up with some dynamic stretching here to get prepared for the workout ahead. That way our bodies are warm, our muscle fibers and our joints are warm and able to um, tackle this workout ahead. So up first, we will stay with our traditional dynamic quad stretch here. That right leg is gonna to extend to the back of you and your left arm is going to go up. You should feel this stretch in the front of your quad, your hip flexors, your shoulders, your back with that reach up top. Good, alternating, left leg back, right leg back, left arm up, right arm up, okay. <clears throat> Good, nice and smooth here. We're gonna work for about 30 seconds of work. And then we will move to a second dynamic stretch here. All right, now's a great time to feel out where your body's at this morning. One more here, and let's go into reverse lunge reaches. Come to the top of your space here. Reverse lunge back, down. Right knee is hovering just over the floor here. Clasping those hands together, reach overhead and to the side here. Good, go ahead and come back to the top. Left leg back, standing up, overhead, side reach. Good, good. Let's go to your pace here, your own pace. I like the slower, the better myself. <laughs> Let's me feel out my body. Let's me know where I'm sore, where I'm tight. My hips are tight. My back is tight. I'm able to work it out a little bit more, get some blood flow in to those major muscle groups. One more here, left side, right side. And stretch over. Good, we're gonna take a nice wide stance for our lateral lunges here. So nothing too aggressive. Feet are going to face forward. Nice wide stance here. We are gonna lunge over to our right, absorbing that weight, shifting over to that left. 
leg, absorbing that weight. You should feel a stretch in your, the inside, your inner thigh here. Keeping that chest up, keeping that head up. Good, good. You should notice your hips are opening up a little bit more. If you've been seated for a long period of time, think about those muscle fibers really short. So when we talk about opening up those hips, we're elongating that muscle, those muscle fibers. Any tendons you may have. So getting ready to work on some power and explosiveness through this workout. All right, let's go back to the top of our, we're back to the mats here. We're gonna do about three walkouts here. So walkouts, we are going to reach down, shoulder width apart on our feet, reach down to our toes, feel that stretch in your hamstring. Slow and control here. We're gonna walk out to a high plank position. Good. Pause there and return back to the top. Roll back up, extend back down and repeat. So touching those toes, walk out to a high plank position. Get that core tight, touch those toes, walk back out, feel that spine. Retract back up, good. Back into a high plank, last one here. Keep that core tight, warming up some core activation. Good, good, good. All right, <laughs> nice work, nice work. Let's go into some hip circles here with that low squat hold. You're gonna be working out those hips and lower body movements here. So again, big circles here, right leg back, right leg forward, left leg back. Left leg forward. Good, good. <clears throat> a lot of these movements are great, not only free working out, but also a lot of different activities or just throughout the day. If you feel tight, if you've been sitting for a long period of time, go ahead and run through these dynamic stretches to keep your body nice and warm, nice and stretched. All right, last one here. Let's go into some YTW. So we're gonna make a big, take a big strong stance with your feet. Engage your glutes here. Center is going to be at our chest level with our hands pressed together. Let's move into a big Y here. Sending out to a Y, back to center, squeeze at the top, making a T with our arms here, squeezing, reaching as far as we can, back to center and a big W here. Good, those are the movements. Let's go back into that Y. Stretching out a little bit taller this time into that Y. Feel some mobility work in your shoulders here. Long left and right with that T. Good. And that W, squeezing those shoulder blades together, warming up that mid to upper back. One more with our Y. Ah, good, good, good. Stretch left and right with that T. Good. One more W to show off those biceps. <laughs> there it is. W. All right, team. Let's towel off, grab that water, grab a drink, and let's get ready to work while I set my timer. All right. Now, I know I didn't mention before, but if you're ever looking for a 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off timer, just go ahead and Google. You can find this online anywhere. Uh, your your search engine preference, but just Google timer, workout timer, and a lot of different variations pop up, a lot of different apps pop up. So choose one that is able to accommodate whatever time preference that you're trying to accomplish. So we're working 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, it could be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, it could be 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So you're able to dial however uh, you would like to see your workout go. And I'm just using um, a timer that's just uh, I found online. So nothing too special with the timer. So these workouts, again, can be accomplished anywhere. If you need a timer that you'd like to perform four different exercises at, Google workout timer. And there we have it. So let me get my timer started. And again, we have skiers to lunges or hops for the first exercise. And we are starting in 10, 8, 7, Six again, skier into hop or skier into lunge in three, two, one. All right, let's go team skier. We want to explode over, drive that knee up or lunge down into that lunge. 
Again, we're working on some explosiveness and some dynamic movements here with that lateral lunge or that lateral ski. You should feel that in your abductor on the side of your hip here, 20 seconds left. Some balance work, 15 seconds, 13. Use those arms to drive you to the other side. Five more seconds here, three, two, one, last rep. Good, 40 seconds on, we have 20 seconds of rest here. And then we will jump back into 40 seconds of work on the ground with those T push-ups. So let me take you to the ground here. We're up in five here, five into a high plank position here. Three, two, one, and let's work 40 seconds on here. All right, my hands are underneath my shoulders. Feet are shoulder width apart. As I come up, I'm raising my left hand to the sky. My gaze is following my fingertips here. Good. Trying to keep that back flat. Trying to keep those hips down. Good job. There you are, Sergeant Barry. Good work. Last 10 seconds on the clock. Good. Let's go at our own pace here. If your pace is faster than mine, you're on fire. Three, two, one. Good. Good work. Good work. We like to say here, we have 20 seconds of rest here. We like to say the first round we learn it, the second round we will own it. So eight more seconds left. We will jump into that low squat reverse lunge in four, three, two, one. Let's work team. We're down into that half squat here. Reverse lunge back, tap that toe. Good, take your time with this one. Nice, try to stay balanced. Left foot, right foot, shifting that weight over, making three points of contact with that front foot, your heel, your big toe, your little toe. That should ground you out for the most stability. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Nice. Woo, those burn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's that low isometric hold. We're really isolating those quads, those glutes, those hamstrings. Eight more seconds here. And we were down on deck again for mountain climbers in three, two, one. Back into our high plank position here, driving those knees to our chest. Okay, again, your hands should be underneath your shoulders. You want that relatively straight line from your neck all the way down to your heels when extended. Keeping that core tight, core tight, flat back. 15 more seconds of work here. We're out in 10. Keep it up. Out in five. Three, two, one. Team, one minute rest. We have earned it. <laughs> All right. Round number one is in the books. Again, this is a little bit more of a higher intensity workout. We like to balance and program from resistance training with dumbbells, with anything that we have available to us to a cardio-based workout. So it's a little bit of a higher intensity workout, burning those additional calories, keeping that heart rate up. So now's the time to relax, take some deep breaths in, recover. Think about how strong you are, how about how, uh, how better we will be after this workout. In 10 seconds, we are back into skiers with a lunge or a hop. I'm gonna go with lunges this time. In three, two, one. All right, team, let's work 40 seconds on here. Drop down into that lunge, back. Good, 30 seconds on. Using my arms to drive me across the space here. Again, the further the lunge you can get in, the more muscle recruitment you will 
gain from this. Last 10 seconds. Good, we're out in five. Three, last rep, one, and time. Good job, good job, nice combo here. Again, we're working those outside of your legs, your glutes, your quads. Working on balance, small muscle fibers of the anchors, ankles. Push-ups, we are on deck in five, four, three, two, one. 40 seconds of work here. Let's work. All right. A little note here. The wider your foot stance, the more stability you're going to have when you hop up into that T push-up or hop into a one-arm variation. So I know we're doing T's here, but it could be reaches. It can be a row. The wider your foot stance is, the more stability you will have when holding that high plank. We're almost there. Last five, three, two, one, and time. Awesome job, awesome job. Time, time, time. Walk it out, shake it out. Good job, good job. 10 seconds, we're in that low squat. Hold with reverse lunge. All right, those 20 seconds fly by in three, two, one. Feet shoulder width apart. Holding that low squat here. Again, let's go to our own speed here. 21. If your low squat isn't as low as myself or Sergeant Barry's, that's perfectly fine. Sit down into whichever squat level is comfortable for you and just work on tapping back, keeping that chest up nice and tight, soften at those knees. Good, we're out in five, three, two, one, last rep. Good, Ooh, yeah. good job. Sergeant Barry, good work over there. Good work, I see you. Have a drink, towel off, we're up with mountain climbers, our favorite in five. Heart rate is going to be up, two, one. All right, let's work team. 40 seconds of work, driving those knees to the chest. Focusing on keeping that core tight. Engage that core, 25 more seconds. Let's go at your own speed here. Extending all the way back out that high plank position, 15 more seconds. Good, good, good. Trying to keep that head in a neutral position. In five, out in three, two, one, last rep. Good. Woo. Going to a high pike with that one. Good job team. You've earned yourself less than one minute of rest. And we will jump back into the field. I know. It is warming up for me. Hope you don't mind. The jacket is going to come off. We have 30 seconds of rest here. Twenty-five more seconds of rest. I am all about layers. If I can layer it up, then I know I can get comfortable somewhere within my workout. 12 more seconds of rest here. We are jumping into those skiers, jumping into the skiers with a lunge or a hop. In three, two, get ready team, one. All right, let's go. Work on shifting that weight over, absorbing with that foot that you're bounding on. Working on balance, keeping that core tight, using those arms to drive yourself over. I've never been skiing, <laughs> but let me know if this would be a great program to work out to hit the slopes for. <laughs> out in five, keep going. Three, two, slow count. One, and we're there. <laughs> All right, team, some of y'all may be in snow at the moment, so 
<laughs> Let us know if it's warmer than here. Or at least it may look like it. In five, we're on the floor for push-ups. Third round here, third round, two, one, high plank position. Dropping down into that push-up. Good. Opening up with that big T. Remember, think of those YTWs, how we were gazing at our fingertips, reaching side to side or up as far as we could during our dynamic stretching. That's what we want to do here. 15 more seconds of work here. Take your time. Remember those, remember those uh, foot placement here where your feet are. Last five. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. Good job. I know we are up and down and up and down today. We are going to hold strong with that low squat to reverse lunge. We're on in five. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Keep that hold. I like to mimic my arms as if I was walking or running. Good. Feel that blood flow in your quad as it holds you up into that low squat position. 15 seconds here. I know it's burning, last 10. That knee should be tracking over your front toe, five. If it's not, go ahead and sit back a little further. Two, one, time. Good job, team, good job. I know, simple movement, but just keeping that low squat hold really helps isolate your quads and in turn strengthens those muscle fibers. Mountain climbers on deck in five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, let's work here. Round three here, finishing it off. Again, try and keep your hips from rotating, keep them square to the floor. 20 seconds left. Driving those legs at our own pace. Now, if we need to scale back, hold that high plank. Let's do that. Let's hold that high plank. Eight more seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, and time. Good work, team. Third round is done, just like that. What's great about these program workouts is they're a little under, a little under 30 seconds of actual workout time. So it doesn't take long to get that heart rate up. It doesn't take long to get some blood flow into those muscle groups. It doesn't take long to add resistance into our full bodies to really work on structuring, on strengthening, and on gaining strength each and every workout. Consistency, dedication are key. So stay with us. We have 20 more seconds of rest here and we are jumping back into those skiers. Ooh. 10 seconds of rest here. I'm getting ready. Take time to stretch out anything that you need before these skiers. We're up in five, four, three, shake it out, two, one. All right, team, let's work side to side. Down into a lunge for me, working on soft landings here, working on soft landings. Good, absorb that weight. 20 more seconds here, keeping that core tight. Last 15, drop down into that lunge. Good, last eight, out in five, three, two, one, and time. Good job team, good job. I know that gets our heart rate elevated. We are on the deck in 10 for those push-up variations. All right. Last set, Sergeant Barry, or last round, rather. Last round, best round. Best round, because it's the last That's round. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, we're working 
40 seconds around the clock, less than that. Scale down to your knees. That's perfectly fine. Good, let's do what we can here. Remember shoulders, hands are under shoulders. Those elbows are tucked in towards our sides. We push down, 10 more seconds. Keeping our back flat, hips are down. Out in five, keep pushing. Three, two, one, last rep and time. Good job, good job team. Way to work, BFit Nation. Keep it up. 10 seconds, breathe it out, shake it out. Recover, we have low squat hold with reverse lunge. It's our last round here, try and stay a little lower, a little lower than those last three rounds. We're working here, 40 seconds around the clock. Good, good job. That reverse, that rear knee should be tracking just over the floor, your front knee tracking just at the front of your toes here. If it's any further, go ahead and lean, sit back into that rear lunge, just a little bit more. Good, almost there. We're out in five. Good, good, sink down a little bit lower. Two, one, last rep with that low hold. And time. Good job, good job. All right, mountain climbers are it, that's it. We're back on the ground again, jumping on the ground for those mountain climbers. We're on in five, four, high plank here. Three, two, one, last rep, last set. We're working. Good. Drive those knees to your chest or as far as you can move them. Keep that tempo high or as comfortable as you see it. Just keep moving here, keeping that back flat. Those hips are square to the floor here. We're off in three, 13. <laughs> okay, less than, we're at five, three, two, one, hold, time. Good job. Way to finish strong, Fit Nation. <sighs> Good job, Sergeant Barry. Awesome. Good job. Awesome work. <laughs> good, good. I know we did. I know we did a lot of lower body movements and some high intensity movements. So let's go ahead and shake it out, stretch it out where you can. Nice little quad stretch here to focus on a little bit of recovery. Just a few seconds worth each leg, bringing that leg back towards your glute, stretching those quads out. Want we'll to take a nice stance here and go ahead and reach for the center, reach for the left, back to center, back to right. Good, good. Let's give ourselves and our heart rate and our body a little time to come back down. Good job here. A little free flowing movement here. Wherever you see that you need a little bit of shaking out from, from working out today, let's go ahead and do that. It just feels right. That's, <laughs> I know we push ourselves, we work out hard, but what's, just as important as working out hard is our recovery. So just like we're cooling down here, bringing our bodies down, bringing our heart rate down, it's just important to hit our nutrition just as hard after these workouts. Refuel yourself with proper nutrition and hydration. And later on, sleep or wherever you're watching from and maybe a few hours from now. <laughs> so, with that, BFIT Nation, this is BFIT Live. Again, we're here every Mondays at 11 Central Standard Time, which is our time here. We love to see where you're watching from. Leave us some feedback on what exercises 
you enjoyed, I say enjoyed, enjoyed and had the most fun with or the most challenging, uh, leave a comment in the, in the comments below of what you enjoyed. I know this is a time to block out just a little bit of uh, 35 minutes as of now, a little bit of time uh, throughout your day. So that's a great step forward in the right direction of our fitness, our nutrition, our wellness goals here. So just a little bit of time goes a long way for our health and wellness. Sergeant Barry, you're looking strong over there today. How do you feel? Any last words from you? No, really, that was a perfect uh, workout to kick off the new year. I love when my heart rate gets elevated, so it's awesome. It feels good, and no, just happy new year to everyone, and take this time to just kind of check in with yourself and, you know, readjust if you're not really going towards your goals. You know, like me, I need to quit eating sugar, so that's what I'm going to try to work on. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. An awesome goal. Awesome goal. Eliminating sugar or reducing sugar is a great way to target fat loss. Uh, that way it does not build up in your system. And that way, if you do not burn those uh, sugars or those calories, then they will not store in your body and in the same time uh, build and uh, return as fat. So great job today. Great job, BFit Nation. We're here for you and with you every step and every rep. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us and BeFit Nation, BeFit Live, signing out.